What's up guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. And today we are at my local garden center to pick up something super exciting. So let's go in there now, see what they have and pretty much go in. So let's do it. At the fish section they have in the store, it's so insane. All the koi carp, all the goldfish they have here. The selection is just so good. Here, this whole section here is based. If you can guess what I'm getting, it is a crested gecko. So this tank over here comes with everything, and this one I've been looking at for a while. So this is the tank we're going to pick up. I think it comes with everything you need to pretty much start the aquarium. There's obviously bigger ones down here as well, and there's things like this, which is so awesome. But I think for this video, we're going to start off and grab one of these. It comes with everything, and then pretty much see what else we need uh, before we pick it up. This is all of the bedding that you can get for crested geckos and all other type of reptiles. So, for example, this one here is basically just a sand mix that you've got on the bottom. Uh, but there's all sorts of stuff like wood chipping is here. Um, there's also some other desert sand up top. A variety of completely different things that you can buy here. Uh, and to be honest, I think I'm going to go for what's like more of a natural stuff, so like soil and uh, probably some of this, which is almost like a bark, it's really dry and it sort of keeps the moisture in and everything like that. So I think some of this is set this up now let's go all right guys i'm back now from the garden center and i'm about to unbox this vivarium for the crested gecko so i'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing and show you exactly what comes inside and what my setup's going to be for it So guys, these are all the things that came in the vivarium. Uh, I've got the day and night light, uh, so I can have it on at night and also during the day for the gecko to, so they understand what is the difference between day and night. I also got these two uh, hydrometer, hygrometer and also a thermometer, uh, which is gonna check humidity and temperature. And I also got this really cool decoration um, that also holds a little water or food dish in there. So I'm gonna get together and start opening these things and putting them where they need to be. So guys, now I do have the light attached. It's looking absolutely awesome. I know it will be so, so cool when it's on at night and during the day. Um, but because this one that they have a night mode and a day mode, uh, it's just this little button or this little sort of flat marking here where you tap, it comes on and off. Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now clean the glass, get it all clean and then put the substrate in, uh, the moss, uh, frog moss that I have for the bottom so it will go in this corner or somewhere over here and then I do have an ornament that I got as well so I'm just going to start with cleaning up this So guys, yes, it is the next day. 
Uh, I ran out of time yesterday to film the rest of the video. So I just want to say this is the soil and the substrate I ended up getting. It's called Cresty Life. Um, and basically it's just what they would pretty much have in their normal habitat or environment so I thought this was the best one to get so I've read the instructions I'm going to pop it in the tank now and evenly spread it across the bottom and make it look perfect and then after that I'm going to put the frog moss in give it a good spray and everything and then pop the tank in position so let me get this in now <laughs> I made the soil about two inches deep, which is said on the pack to do make it a couple of inches for what size gecko you're putting in there. And I think it looks really natural, to be honest. I think this is quite a good brand of um, bedding for crested geckos. I think it looks really natural and healthy looking, but I do know that I do have to keep it uh, fairly um, humid in there. So I might give it a quick spray, not nothing heavy, uh, just to make sure that it is nice and damp in there when I do get the gecko tomorrow. <music> So basically I took it into the bathroom, I sat it in water, squeezed it out, rinsed it, left it a little bit damp and now I'm just going to place it somewhere, maybe in the corner or something where he'll be nice and um, sort of out the way of the big uh, ornament that I'm going to be putting in it in a minute but also somewhere that it can actually rest on or climb down on if it wants to. So I'm going to pop it now and see how it looks. This is the other ornament that came actually with the tank and the setup. Uh, the frog moss didn't but this is the one ornament that did. Um, it's not the best in the world but I think for now it'll do. I have places for it to climb on and everything um, and when I actually go and get the uh, the gecko I'm going to look for some more maybe natural wooding and everything but for now I think this will perfectly do. So guys, this is my final setup and exactly what I've gone for. Uh, this is the big ornament I've been going on about. It's not 100% realistic, but you know what? It still looks good. Uh, I love the plant that comes off it as well. That's super realistic. I've got my little moss in the corner down there and I just think for a first time setup, it looks awesome. Comment down below and tell me what you think of this setup. And also any tips that you got that maybe I could um, know if you do keep crested geckos at the top there, I've got my two thermometers and hygrometers, which terms for me obviously humidity and temperature but yeah for the first time i'm super happy with it so this is the aquarium with the light on i think it looks so so cool so much better with that light that came with it as well it's actually quite a powerful light for how small it is and i just think the tank looks great So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please go down below and subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it and you enjoyed something different apart from me talking about just fish because obviously I want to know what you guys like to watch as well. So please go down and comment and like if you do enjoy it and join the crew, the family and the love and passion for fish and other animals as well. Now a gecko on top of the lobster. If you didn't see that video, I'll pop it above here. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.